Let's talk about the vibe coding trap of coding agent. We all have been through this. You have a perfect idea for an app. You provide a natural language prompt to your favorite coding agent, and it generates a whole bunch of code, which looks great on paper. But then you start running this and you run into a whole bunch of issues. The app crashes, there are runtime errors. You provide that feedback to your coding agent it starts making changes to different files. And then you start running into this infinite loop of broken code and bug tracing. Now there's a parallel universe in which you take a very complex engineering task. The coding agent first reads through the files. It understands what exactly you want to do. It create a strategic plan on targeted edits that it's going to do. Then it takes those and make those changes one by one. At the same time, it keeps updating the task that it has performed and it does auto verification. So it runs tests and keep updating its plan. Now, more and more coding agents have started adopting this plan, execute and verify. It's slower, but a lot more efficient and less error prone. Today, we're going to be looking at one such agent. This is called Juni, your smart coding agent. It's from JetBrains and it's perfect for people who are using JetBrains products because it's tightly integrated into products like PyCharm and other coding solutions from JetBrains. Juni really follows the best practices of programming. It will propose a plan based on your needs. The user will accept the plan then it adjusts the task at hand and run automated tests for you. Personally, I think this flow is perfect for complex tasks. It seems slow compared to other coding agents that just generate a whole bunch of code, but this workflow will usually give you much better output. So if you're using JetBrains products, this is a perfect video for you. And I'm really happy that they are also sponsoring this video. Now I'm going to show you a practical example of an engineering task that Juni is perfect for, but they also have a tight integration on GitHub. So you just assign it task directly on GitHub and it will propose a solution for review. So let's have a look at Juni in action. So here's Juni within PyCharm. Now to show you the real use case, I'm going to show you a practical example. So right now I'm trying to build a a text-based video editor, very similar to Descript. Now I'm running into one small issue here. So when I upload a video, it has the ability to transcribe that video. However, you can see that this key screen keeps flickering. Okay, so we're going to just tell it. I am running into this issue where when I load a video, the screen keeps flickering. I have documented it in this file. Can you analyze the issue along with the code base and tell me what could be causing it. Now you actually have to add the file here. We should be good to go. We we'll just send this in. Now right now it's working through it. So initially it plans. It's going to analyze the code. So at the moment it's looking for different things in the code base. Okay, and based on that, it's coming up with a very detailed plan. Now this usually takes a while because it has to go through the code base and understand it. And then it's going to present us with a plan that we can either accept or reject. Okay, so here's the analysis. So it identified the potential root cause and also came up with some suggestions on which could potentially solve this. Now, this all looks plausible, but I want to see whether the actual solution is going to work or not. When you are working with this, there are multiple different modes. One is brave mode, which is basically a YOLO mode. You let the model decide or take action without asking you. There is also a think mode, think more mode, which basically uses extended thinking. And then you can either code or chat with the model or in auto, Juni will help you figure this out, right? So I think I'm happy with this. Go ahead and implement the solution and then let's test whether it worked or not. Okay, so let's just send this in. 
again it goes to the planning mode where it's going to start planning its next steps so here it came up with a detailed plan on what exactly to do and you can actually see that it also implements debugging steps directly within its plan and then it tries to execute those one by one now we're going to see whether it actually works or not but it also added a pretty nice explanation of what exactly to expect but let's put it to a test okay so here's a video that i uploaded it doesn't have the flickering issue which is a good news now let's play this how is business today the price of bread is still too high and the harvest hasn't been good okay this is a video that i generated with vo3 okay juni also has support for mcps you can add your own mcp servers now in this case right now we have the contact 7 and chrome dev tool mcp server connected the chrome dev tool is a lifesaver especially if you're doing any sort of web development use the chrome dev tool mcp server to go to google.com and then look up the current price for apple stock okay we can just send this in now this is extremely helpful because the chrome dev tool mcp server lets you interact with your web browser and also you have all the access to different analytics tool that the chrome dev tool offers so you can actually see that the agent juni in this case triggered the browser it is going to google.com and now it will be able to control your browser so all of this is happening completely automated i am not touching anything whatsoever all right so it went it found the search box now it's going to start looking for okay nice uh, i had to help it out just to make sure that is not blocked as a robot but overall you can see that properly implemented mcp server can really give superpowers to your coding agent so right now it's looking at the current price now it seems like it did make a mistake but it was able to recover from it but in this case it shows you step-by-step -step process of what exactly the agent is doing so you have full transparency and visibility to the agent's actions so a couple of interesting observations regarding how Juni works. It actually goes through the whole code. It takes notes and that ensures that it's making targeted changes, and especially for the issue like the one that I was solving. For this fix, Juni had to understand the whole project rather than a single file or a single prompt, which is critical for any powerful coding agent because you want to have a global context and this coding agent seems to be doing exactly that. And if you're using a JetBrains IDE like PyCharm, this is a perfect solution because it has very tight integration with IDEs and you remain in the same workflow. You don't have to install yet another coding agent that may not have as tight integration with your IDE as Juni in this case. Now, apart from being part of your IDE, Juni is also connected to platforms like GitHub and GitLab. So you can just run tasks asynchronously. And this also allows you to run multiple different tasks. So if you are already in the ecosystem, I'll highly recommend to check this out. Now, here's the pricing. So depending on whether you are an individual or an organization, there is different pricing structure. Also keep in mind, this is per user per year, and not per month. So do check it out. Link is going to be in the video description. I hope you found this video useful. Thanks for watching. And as always, see you in the next one.